Washington Heights or the Bengali part of America. We went there one time to uh, to a restaurant named Kabar Bari okay. to, to hang up a post to glue a poster. One man saw my middle name and he immediately started talking rude things behind our back to his group. Because of Isaac? Said, yeah, he okay. said uh, that I cannot, can, I and my family cannot be Muslim because the middle name Isaac gives uh, us Jewish and Christian spells. What would you think about that? Very uh, rude. And if that man started to s d directly smoking his cigarette at us, forcing really? my family to inhale the secondary smoke. Did you leave or did you talk to him? A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Who are you? My name is Abuna Isaac Barry. Wonderful. My name is Dr. Gonzalez. It's nice to meet you. And we're here because of this book you wrote? Ah, uh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your book? Oh, That's January 7th, 2015. Okay. I was leaving home for Washington, D.C. at 5.30 a.m. because I was scheduled to be with Sabrina, Dona, and VOA, or Voice of America, at 11 a.m. You were, you were heading to Washington, D.C., and what happened? Uh, uh, we arrived almost 30 minutes late in the Capitol, and um, my heart raced as my dad parked his car in front of the Smithsonian Museum, wondering if Sabrina, Dona would still be waiting for us. My dad had rushed to the elevator, carrying me on his shoulder. Suddenly, the security guard stopped us and asked us to go through the metal detector. Okay. And we were complying with this request. I noticed something was going on. On a TV monitor adjacent to the detector, I saw two brothers signed into Rif Kuwati. Uh, armed with AK-47, uh, uh, forcing their way through a museum, killing all journalists inside. Do you know why this, these people were were doing this kind of violence? No. Okay. So keep going. What, what what did you think of, or what happened? I hope that the perpetrators were not Muslims. After all, I am a Muslim. But uh, not ten seconds later, I heard them shout. Allahu Akbar! What does that mean? That's exactly what the security guards asked. What did that mean? And my dad explained it. It used to mean God is great. But yeah. now it means violence. It means hate. It means terror. So I so hope it's, that... It still means God is great, but people use it for the wrong reasons? Uh, yeah. Okay. I really wrote this book uh, to to, res to restore uh, uh, the dignity of what Allahu Akbar used to be. Okay. You said there was two events. What was the second event? Uh, there were uh, people who uh, called uh, Rohingyas. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, they live in a country called Myanmar which is very close to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. In fact, it even shares borders with Bangladesh. And what happened there? Uh, so, um, uh, one day I was just relaxing in the car, reading a newspaper, when I suddenly uh, saw the, uh, the picture of a dead and young, a very young looking boy. And when I caught up on the news, I found out it was a 40 day old boy uh, named, named Abdul Masood whom I now call my other brother. Okay. Did you ever meet him? Uh, no, not really, because the USA is very far from Bangladesh. You have a point, yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, so what, what happened with him? What was going on with this boy? Um, he, he died due to the reckless behavior of the Myanmar leader, Aung San Suu Kyi. So what did the leader do that, that led to this? Aung San Suu Kyi needs to uh, build, truly build a modern Myanmar. Not one that, uh, that is uh, falsely made of peace. So you have all these incidents, right? You said 11 of them, and you just shared two. 
So what did you think, like, why write the book? What, what does the book do with respect to those incidents? Like, what's the point of the book? Um, the point of the book is to, to mainly respect all religions, even if uh, one is not your own. And, and how, do you, how do you accomplish that? What, what, what's in the book? So you notice you have the incidents, right? Yeah. And what we, happens we after like that? Have, uh, we have like a poster that shows the philosophy or main idea of the book. It says, I am, uh, I am a Muslim and I love Islam, but I also love Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, and Christianity. I am a Muslim and I love Eid, but I also love Yom Kippur, Dorn Daputa, Ratasana and Christmas. That's yes. at least love to create a world without terrorism. I think that is a very good thing. That would be fantastic. And you think this book is going to help us get there? Yeah, to accomplish a, a world without hate and uh, terror. So what have you been doing to promote your ideas? Um... I had really like I had really like a book toward April seventh, as I told you. Where did you Where did you go on this book tour? Washington D.C., same place. Same place. I went to a hotel on Marriott and to make a book talk or, or a book tour on my uh, on my new book, The Love, as you know, which aims to create a world without terrorism. When the moderator asked me, why why create a book when you're very young? And I responded that I saw the horrors of 2015 and I had to, I had to fix it or make a campaign slash book. So this is your way of addressing the problems that you were seeing? Yeah. There's a lot of people in this book that you talked to. And <coughs> can you tell me about some of them? Oh, yeah. Like, it looks like is... you're interviewing people here. We're talking to people. There's a singer. There's this woman here. What, what is all that about? Um, Kathleen Rob, uh, or that woman, uh, she uh, helped me promote my book. Okay. And uh, to singer Lawrence Russ, one day I was... I was just on the train with my dad, and when we got off, uh, we were like at a cruiser stop, and uh, we saw one of man just singing there. And we thought that he was not singing the Star Spangled ba Banner on the 4th of July. So we what said, was it I don't know. Okay. Uh, probably it was a rock star pop song. Okay. And. And we said it was uh, kind of disrespectful to the USA since it was the 4th of July. And uh, the 4th of July is uh, when you usually celebrate American independence. So what so, is this photo album? Who are all these people? Uh, they all help me pro promote my book. And they are all from the desk. These were all the people who joined my campaign. Is your campaign still going on now? Yeah. Do you plan to write a second book? Um, not yet. So if someone hasn't seen your book, be like the most important thing you wish they would know about your book and your campaign. Um, that we... Uh, we can uh, cr create a world without terror, and we can always uh, love each religion, even if they're not our own. And there's also one more thing I'd like to s share with you. Sure. There's um, uh, like Jackson Heights, or the Bengali part of America. We went there one time to uh, to a restaurant named Kabar Bari. Okay. <laughs> To, uh, to hang up a post, to glue a poster, uh, to glue up a wall. We got permission from the restaurant owner. Was this? But suddenly, uh, five 
one man saw my middle name, and he immediately started talking rude things behind our back to his group. Because of Isaac? Said, yeah, he okay. said that I cannot, could, I and my family cannot be Muslim because the middle name Isaac gives us Jewish and Christian spells. What would you think about that? Very rude, and that man started to directly smoking his cigarette at us, forcing really? my family to inhale the secondary smoke. Did you leave, or did you talk to him? Uh, my uh, family tried to uh, talk to him, but they, they uh, and my dad tried to show his rude behavior on camera, but uh, they. Uh, but he uh, pr proceeded to block the camera lens and forced us to end, end our recording live. It says here that you actually received recognition from President Obama. What was that like? Oh, uh, he sent me a letter in 2016. What do you, what do you say? Uh, honestly, I forgot, but uh, he said that uh, young student, we need more uh, young students like uh, me and uh, to uh, promote math and science. So you love math and science? Yeah. I also got recognition from former Harvard president Drew Fast. Nice. Did you get to meet the president? No, but I, I, I got a few interviews. Very nice. Um, I, I had another question and I just lost it. Um, you said, so you said you were recognized by the president. Oh, and you said that there should be more people like you, right? More, more youngsters like you that yeah. promote these ideas. So what if there is uh, a youngster that's watching this and says, oh, I want to do something similar. Or I want to get involved. What would you suggest that, that they do? I would suggest that... Uh, and that instead of focusing too much on religion, they would focus uh, a little more on math and science or education. Okay, and how does one get to have a campaign like you? What are some some things we need to work on? Um, like, uh, uh, well, Muslims have Muslims have like uh, t only twelve. Noble prizes. Yet, Jewish people have won and won eighty prizes. Really? Why do you think that is? Because Muslims focus a little too much on religion and not too much on education. So you would you would push people to study more math and science? Uh, not really. I would encourage them. So I, I noticed your your dad is taping this, and he put up this beautiful poster. So how has your dad been helpful in this campaign? He, uh, he, he, uh, he, uh, helped me to study and learn more math and science, or even topology. And he puts me in life so more people can study or get that knowledge. I think that's fantastic. Is there anything people else? People even okay. try to cyber bully me. Oh, wow. went to in 2014. What what was that about? I don't know. They just uh, cyber bullied us live on social media in 2014. How did you deal with it? Mm, we made a campaign. Kinda, you made a campaign to address that? Yeah. Sounds good. Is there anything else you want to share? Uh... I don't think so, really. Well, I'm really excited that you came by, and I'm glad that I finally have a copy of your book because I really want to read it. Yeah. All right. I know. It's kind of long. I don't know. What, what is it? 60-something pages? It doesn't feel that long. I think I can read it. I'm pretty sure I can read it. Ah, oh, this is this is your biography? pages. So yeah. how, how old are you now? Seven. Seven? Wow. And you started this campaign a year ago or a couple? No. A couple years ago? 
I think around 2014 when I was bullied on social media. But it's 2019 now. So, how old were you in 2014? Uh, I believe two. Wow, so you got started early. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's very nice to talk to you. Very nice to talk to you, too. I'm Dr. very glad Gonzalez. you came by. I really am. And I have an official author signed copy. Sounds good. Thank you. This is perfect.